the MODIS program um, is a, um, a new network that's just formed with a working group um, to track multiple species, not just birds, but bats and insects. Um, and then there's GPS technology. And MODIS technology is not, um, not a new technology. It's kind of been used uh, quite a bit on the East Coast to track different species of birds. And they have a pretty significant network on the East Coast. So you can really, um, track birds um, at many different locations using the MODIS tower. My name is Dan Varland and I live in western Washington, west of Hoquiam, uh, uh, just above Grace Harbor National Wildlife Refuge on, on the bluff. And I uh, have a nonprofit, Coastal Raptors, that I started 10 years ago. Uh, and we do research and education programs leading to conservation of birds of prey. Well, I was approached by Joe Buchanan, who is a wildlife biologist, shorebird specialist from Olympia. He works for the State Department of Fish and Wildlife. And he knows the area well, he knows my property, and he thought it would be a perfect place for a motor station. He knew this uh, technology was coming online and capability. And uh, so uh, I heard what he had to say about that and decided that would be a wonderful contribution for me to make uh, to help that move that science forward. I feel very fortunate to be a wildlife biologist and to be out on days especially like this uh, where I can go out there and count birds and spend hours out there watching the movements, watching the behavior, and then being able to take that information, bring it back, share it with other people, and help, cons help to conserve our wildlife. Partnerships are essential to the Migratory Birds Program. Migratory bird conservation is, um, is too big of a task for any single organization to take on. And even though the Fish and Wildlife Service has responsibility for managing the birds, of over a thousand species uh, within the U.S. and our territories and Pacific Islands, we can't do it alone.